I'm sure this session will be, you know, very informative to her also. So no worries. Sure. All right, guys. So I think uh, considering that as and how people will trickle in, no worries. Let's start in. And I'm sure you guys uh, managed to see the previous session. Was it informative? Was it like uh, good, bad, ugly? How was it? The demography that I actually narrated about. Did you guys find it insightful? Yeah. So I revisited the full video before coming here. Uh -huh. uh, just like how we catch uh, today, Punin Selvan 2 is releasing, right? So we have to visit <laughs> Punin Selvan 1 and then catch oh, up with PS2. Okay. Just like how I revisited your <laughs> earlier video. No, no, don't like, worry, don't worry. It's not that um, there is no climax like uh, Bahubali <laughs> 1 and 2. <laughs> it's an individual thing. But yes, one can come precede before the other because it is about demography, which will take it. Now we will take it more into, uh, you know, breaking it down because now I know you guys are into full fledged dive in into resume making. Okay. So from that uh, perspective, I will touch upon that as well. Okay. But uh, let me just give you a brief of uh, how we flew last time and then we will take it forward from there. Okay. Well, let me share my screen and then I shall take it from there. All right. All right. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So last time, I'll just touch upon what we did last time. Okay, so that nothing is lost. Okay, just a small reiteration. And I hope I have started recording it because many had requested me to record it. And I wouldn't be around for a week or 10 days next week, but I'll be closely monitoring things. I'll be closely in touch with Richie. And wherever you guys have anything, my WhatsApp will be on completely. No worries on that front. All right. <clears throat> so last time we saw how the demography of Europe looks like. Okay. And where we all are concentrating our attention towards okay specifically where are we actually you know boiling down so our whole core concentration is dark okay we all know what is dark right now by now i will send you a small description by the way in whatsapp you will keep hearing keep seeing small knowledge bits and you know pieces of knowledge that i will be sharing so that you guys can also acquaint yourself and know how the things are flowing but uh, nevertheless, <clears throat> so we know our core concentration is somewhere here, correct? Deutschland, yeah. Austria, yeah. Switzerland, yeah. and to a certain extent, Denmark, Netherlands, uh, Denmark, Netherlands for a very few specific uh, uh, people. France, uh, we have another group uh, right now, France, Portugal, Spain, and Italy. We have another group who are concentrated in that. Uh, the southern Europe, because again, the whole concept changes slightly there. Okay. To you guys, I will be enabling you with the foreign languages related to this. Okay. Especially with the German dark linguistics, I will be gradually putting in a course across. I'll be giving it to you so that you guys can start with that. And I will show it to you today also. So this is how we were. Now, did you guys go and research? Did, like, as I told last time, I said each country has its own flavor. Each country has its own uh, way of uh, the industry type, the way of functioning, the way of uh, you know, growing. For example, we said Switzerland is what? Finance Banking. and? Exactly. Banking. Absolutely. Yeah. Banking and insurance. insurance. Just, Banking you know, and insurance. And you know where other insurance, we have the insurance hub in the world is Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, and we have one of our colleague who has gone to Hong Kong re also. Uh, recently, only he has gone to Hong Kong and from here only because uh, the dedication was towards, uh, you know, indulging into the insurance industry. And France, we know it is operations management and fashion. fashion. Okay. But you see lots and lots of operations management and fashion. And Italy, we know, is organic food and all that stuff, you know, which is a mixed market. Spain is tourism. Poland is back-end office. So you see a lot of your colleagues who are whoever are working in the European segment, EMEA. Anybody knows the full form of EMEA? I'm sure the tenure guys will be know it. Uh, Europe, 
Middle East, 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 East. and and Africa, Africa, absolutely Africa, not Asia, yeah. not Africa, Asia, Africa, not Asia, Africa, yes, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Africa. Africa. So this is EMEA and dark Deutschland, Germany, uh, Switzerland, mm-hmm. Austria. These Australia. these few um, concept guys try to make it very familiar because they'll be heavily used in Europe, heavily. Okay, uh, UKI. Another terminology, United Kingdom and Ireland, they go together. So these are the business pockets which are used there. So I would want you to actually go back, okay, and do a research about your, like me as my resume in one hand, and which country do I fit in best, you know, or which industry do I come in first. So to do that, I will enable you today how to go about that. Last time we also touched about, you know, demography, we touched about various small